has God said concerning your prosperity in Christ? Well, the answer is in today's article for the 4th of July titled, Wealth, Riches and Righteousness. Good day, saints, and welcome once again to Starting Your Day Right with the Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris Oyakilome. Our opening verse in Psalm chapter 112 verses 1 to 3 writes, Praise ye the Lord. Blessed is the man that feareth the Lord that delighteth greatly in his commandments. His seed shall be mighty upon earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endureth forever. Notice what the Bible says. The one who reveres the Lord and delights greatly in his word is blessed. Not only that, wealth and riches shall be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Wealth, riches, and righteousness are the heritage of the one who belongs to Christ. Praise the Lord. This completely debunks the erroneous belief that if you're rich, you cannot be righteous. God has made his children rich through Christ. The lives of many Christians may somewhat be in antithesis with this, but it does not negate God's truth. Those of us who accepted his word as it is have a different reality. In Christ, we have wealth, riches, and righteousness. It is the life God has given us in him. The bane of many around the world today is ignorance. Many have never been accurately taught the word of God. Therefore, they do not know how to apply it in order to walk in the reality of their glorious inheritance in Christ. Make up your mind that you are going to walk in the light of God's word as it relates to your prosperity in Christ. Even if you really didn't care about being rich, he ordained that you should be able to make others rich. Well said the Apostle Paul, as sorrowful yet always rejoicing as poor yet making many rich, as having nothing and yet possessing all things. And you can see this in 2 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 10. Locate yourself in the plans and purposes of God so you can have his will fulfilled in your life. He said in 3 John chapter 1 verse 2, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospereth. Hallelujah! Now that you know the truth about your prosperity, you can choose to appropriate it in your life. It belongs to you already. Glory to God. Right where you are, you can thank the Lord with me. Dear Father, I thank you for your word of truth about my wealth, riches and righteousness. As I walk in the light of your word and apply its principles, the blessings of the kingdom are manifested in my life. I walk in financial abundance and manifest fruits of righteousness. In Jesus' name, Amen. In the further study section, you may study these verses for more insight and understanding on today's teachings from Proverbs chapter 10 verse 22, Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18, Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, and Ecclesiastes chapter 5 verses 18 to 19. Praise be to God. We trust that you are blessed by these messages you have heard. If you have not been born again, I enjoin you to wait to the end of this video where you can receive salvation as we pray the salvation prayer with you. Be sure to receive the Holy Spirit once you do. Just declare with faith that, Dear Father, I receive the Holy Spirit to dwell in my heart now. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Hallelujah. Congratulations. 
We have a book titled Now That You're Born Again available in our local languages. So email us at tnimsia at gmail.com to get yourself a copy and subscribe to this channel. Remember to join in on the Global Communion Service with our Man of God, Pastor Chris, this coming 7th of July at 10pm Malaysia time on all Love World platforms. God bless you. received salvation if you've never received Christ into your heart if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about this is your moment say these words say oh Lord God I believe in Jesus Christ the Son of God I believe he died to save me I believe God raised him from the dead and he's alive today. I confess with my mouth Jesus Christ is Lord of my life from this day. And by my faith in him I receive eternal life into my heart into my spirit thank you lord for saving my soul i have eternal life now i'm a child of god now i am born again thank you lord if you just said that prayer along with pastor chris congratulations welcome to the family of god Rhapsody of realities Giving you life a meaning Every day My life made perfect With Rhapsody